You're not emoting. Santa, why are you picking on me? First of all, I'm not an actor. I'm a musician. Because I know you've got it in you. What are you talking about? It's called sense memory, Fred. Remember the time you were 12 years old and they hung you upside down by your underwear outside the girls' gym? Do you remember, wimp boy? Ooh. Easy on the wimp boy stuff, Santa. Wimp boy? That's what you are, isn't it, Fred? Wimp boy? Wimp! Wimp! That's wimp! enough, man! Listen, old man, you want to take me on? Come on, let's go! Yes. That's it. That's perfect. <laughs> Cue Alicia. Well, meanwhile, we're a little bit more laid back here by the fireplace. My friend Winnie Hopkins and I. Are you having a good time at the party? Well, Ted, kind of. I mean, Santa's a bit of a slouch, don't you think? Well, I'm sure we can work all that out by the end of the thing. And what, what piece of, um, of stuff did you bring for us? Well, Ted, I've brought along my search for the funkiest man alive. Now, that sounds great. Now, it, how did you is. go about that? Well, first of all, I thought I'd start at the top. James Brown, the Godfather of Soul. Yeah, yeah. Well, the Godfather of Soul is where I'm at. The King of Soul is, I thank God for that. But the Godfather of Soul means that I kind of watch over everybody, whether it's country, western, gospel, uh, spiritual jubilee, uh, jazz, a very little R&B, but uh, more soul, country, yeah. classicals. Mm -hmm. Ave Maria. <laughs> See, that was great. Yeah. But, but even as you mentioned at the beginning of that piece, it's, it's the godfather of soul, but soul isn't necessarily funk. You're right. You're right, Ted. So I went to explore the blues section next. Uh -huh. I mean, blues may not be funk, but that's where it led me. But it could be. Exactly. So I went to blues guitarist Walter Wolfman Washington. Every day, every day I have the blues. When you see me, tell me, baby, it's you I hate to miss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Wolfman's a pretty bluesy guy. Yeah, he is very, very bluesy. But not necessarily funky, though. No, not funky. I, I mean, his name is Funky. Yeah. Having only one tooth is really funky. One tooth is. Yeah, one tooth is really funky. But he's not the funkiest man alive. So wh where did you go after that? Well, I had to define funk at this point. Yeah. What, what would you say funk is, Ted? Well, I don't know. It's like an attitude. Right. More like a pelvic thrust. Yeah, I could go for that. Yeah, OK. So I went to the inventor of the twist. Chubby Checker. Nope. Hank Ballard and the Midnighters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nothing to it, a baby can do it. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so this Ballard cat is, uh, is the pelvic thrust thing. Uh, that works, you're absolutely right. But mm -hmm. I don't think you found the funkiest man in the world. No, but Hank Ballard told me who it was, Ted. Well, who is it? Rufus Thomas. Rufus Thomas. As in Carla Thomas? As in Carla Thomas, as in walking the dog, as in the funky chicken. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, Rufus Thomas does the funky chicken. Okay, here you go. She got to do your legs there now. Okay, no problem. Okay, but you got to raise them up. <laughs> now turn to me. I'm the funkiest man alive. Did you hear that? I heard that. I said, I heard did you hear that? I heard that. I am the funkiest man alive. <laughs> Punk personified, all the way. <laughs> <laughs>